to my youtube channel if you're new here hi i'm nelly and i'm a self-taught artist and enjoying to learn grow and improve my art skills first of all no i am not filming in my bathroom i'm not filming in my bathroom at all okay i am filming in my bathroom because i'm actually just so lazy to like start setting up all my filming setup but i realized that my bathroom is actually quite bright and might just work so please ignore my shower behind me let's just see how this goes i'm honestly so tired because it is currently i think it's like 3 40 a.m right now and i'm still awake because my sleep schedule is a mess but i am about to study and that brings us to this video i plan to in this new series and what the series is going to be about is basically a study me series like i said in my previous video lastly this is just an art goal in general i want to study more fundamentals and i want to carry you guys along with my studying process i do want to start posting more study with me mostly like art study sessions where i study the fundamentals and i carry you guys along with me because as you guys know i am a self-taught artist i am not in art school or anything i'm studying something totally different from art and that's my degree but i do want to be an artist for a living so i do have to study and train myself every single day and i know i'm not the only one out there i know a lot of you watching this are probably self-taught as well or maybe on the journey to becoming a self-taught artist and i decided that i'm going to make this new series i don't know what i'm going to call it yet but it's this it's going to be a series basically where i study and you guys can study along of course this is not like a tutorial i'm not teaching anyone because like i said i do see myself as a student on this journey to become a better artist as well so it's just basically going to be like a study along session i basically want to create this space where anyone who's self-taught and they don't really know what to do can come and like join this little community that we have going on and you know learn as well because i strongly believe in studying to improve i know some people don't want to hear this but you just have to do it if you want to improve you have to grow and trust me when you're growing along with someone it's way, it's way more fun i mean i'm also doing this because sometimes i'm just not in the mood to study and i want to hold myself accountable if i know there are people out there who need me to like motivate them as well it will make me more serious to like actually study yeah that the point of life is always arrived at in the immediate moment. Okay, so basically I'm in my study box. My accommodation has a study box on each floor for students who want to you know, leave their room to study. My room is kind of small, so most times that I come in here to study because it's more like spacious and all. But because this is like exam periods for like the medical students here, it's always full. Like every time I try to come here to film a video, it's always full. So now I have to resort to waiting till 3 a.m. to come here when it's totally empty. Because now I'm alone and I love my space because I cannot function when I'm distracted at all, at all, like I really can't. I made myself a schedule for each study session that I'll put on the screen and it has basically the things I have to do and check up each time I study. And right now I'm going to start with the first thing on the list which I believe is figure sketches. I'm going to do like 10 minutes figure sketchings obviously i'm going to start with one minute then three minutes five minutes and ten minutes yeah let's just get on with that part right now i'm using my phone camera so i might be distracted and i might look here but honestly it's so stressful not seeing myself Anyway, for my bigger sketches, I am using uh, this sketchbook that I made myself. I call it my bigger drawing sketchbook. It's just literally like hard paper, stock paper, and printer paper that's inside. But I've been using this for practicing my bigger drawing 
and i'm kind of like chaotic in my head so i kind of have to like have different notebooks for different like things i don't know if i'm the only one like that please tell me i'm not alone i kind of need to have a sketchbook for figure sketching and a sketchbook for studying and a sketchbook for drawing and a sketchbook for painting if not i would just feel so like unorganized and i hate feeling unorganized so basically i'm going to do that here um sometimes i do do figure sketching on my ipad but for today i think i'm just going to do like normal figure sketching in my sketchbook and for the website i will be using this website called quickposes.com and basically i'm just going to use the timed practice i'm going to click pose and all nude and partially nude because i need to like study the human body and stuff so interval i'm going to start with custom oh no actually i'm going to start with 30 seconds and yeah i want to draw 10 images for now actually i'm not going to draw up to 10 but i just want to like put 10 and then i'll pick so yeah doing my figure sketching for today i realized i was a bit rusty and i kind of i kind of haven't done figure sketching for a while so i decided that today's topic what i'm going to be studying today is i'm going to be watching some videos by michael matersi michael matersi but basically he's like one of the teachers who teach drawing with force and i absolutely love his videos he has a youtube channel and he also has books on it i don't have the book sadly but i'm going to watch some of his youtube videos basically the one that is draw and improve line of action i really really need to learn how to get better at my figure sketching because i have done some follow alongs which are right here but that is what i'm going to be studying today initially i was going to do something totally different but i think i think this is what i should do today so we're going to be doing some four studies wish me luck 12 seconds later a few moments later
currently almost 8 a.m. and I think it's finally time for me to call it a night or a day, I don't know. I will be leaving all the resources in the description and if any of you are interested, maybe it will be of help. Yeah, that concludes our first attempt at doing a study with me for the series. I don't know how this is going to go. I do plan on experimenting more and trying out new ways of like making this series more entertaining. But if you did watch it to here, thank you so much for watching. And thank you for joining me in this little study session. Of course, it will change as time goes by. I have a lot of ideas. I'm not really sure how I'm going to execute them yet. I will obviously be posting more study with me art videos for you guys. I will rate this study session a 5 out of 10, majorly because I am not really used to filming and studying. So I was really distracted. I was like, oh no, I have to film this, I have to film that. But I feel like that's because it's my first time trying it out and I was a little bit like distracted. But by the time I do this over and over and find better ways to like film and it doesn't distract me, it'll probably be more, more easy for me to concentrate and film at the same time. But in general, what I learned today was really, really helpful. I studied a lot of like force for figure drawing and gravity, gesture, line of action. I really love like gesture drawing. So I really, really enjoyed the topic that I focused on for today's study session. Again, if you watched it to the end, if I helped you, maybe you're studying along and I was here to like just keep you company. I hope I did justice. And of course, this video series will continue and improve us we go on if you watch it up to here don't forget to like subscribe and hit that bell icon so that you be reminded each time i upload a new video and yeah i think i'm just gonna gonna call it a night even though it's basically 8 a.m bye guys